Today I'm going right to over. teach you how to teach touch typing to students. Uh, this is okay. an incredibly Document easy right. uh, expedition Document. and it only Document. takes about five hours. You want to stretch it out over a five day period. Day, so yeah. on the Land. first day, you're going to have them position their fingers on home row and they're just going to get a used to typing a -A -L the keys -A -A back and forth, listening to everything they're doing. And then you want to combine it with uh, what they're actually feeling up on the Braille display. So they can reinforce everything they're doing. So they're hearing it and they're feeling it. And you want them to go between just to get used to hitting a letter and hitting the space bar just as they're doing on the Brailler. Uh, and then they're just going to add the G and the H, and they're just going to go all the way through, getting comfortable with home row. And if the child is moving really quickly, go ahead and add a couple more letters. And what you do is uh, you're going to focus on, let's say you're going to teach them E. They're just going to do D, E, 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 E. So they get the idea of which finger goes, and then they have them do it faster, but they get the idea of which finger goes with the upper row. And then, of course, you're going to combine it with below. Uh, some of my students absolutely are ready for this uh, the first day. So you really need to go with, uh, with the child. And I always work in their name. So whatever their name is, teach them how to do the shift uh, on the appropriate side of the keyboard and type their name. That gets them so excited right off the bat. So the day next day, day if the child was not day. ready for integrating either the upper row or the bottom row, you're going to start adding that in. But you're going to start typing words. D -A -D 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 -A -D nice simple words. D -A -D -D -A and once again, if they're ready for that on the first day, absolutely. D -A -D -D Show them some of the words that can be typed off of home row. Uh, and then of course mix in their name. So they're going to be doing this over and over. Depending on their age level, you might be doing this for 30 minutes a day, 45 or an hour. Uh, never more than an hour. You need to really mix it up. Uh, and some of my children are ready for several words. Hi dad. Okay. Work in other really nice small words. So the next day, you need to start adding letters, and uh, so let's just do, and then they're just going to go down with that pinky, and then you're going to have them do the ring finger. And of course, they need to be reinforcing this with the Braille display. Uh, the Braille display is really crucial in regards to teaching a beginner student how to uh, read and type and get that feedback they need. And once again, you're just going to do that. So you're going to be doing this with each letter and have them create flow. Okay. And then down. So they're getting the ideas. And of course, they're always going to have their uh, favorite uh, letter that they want to do. But you just start on home row. Everything goes off of home row. So depending on their skill by the fourth day, uh, start working in a lot of sentences. Okay, and then they're just going to do that over and over. So they get the idea of how the letters are going with the words and where the letters are in the sentence. Uh, and so you're just going to mix in a lot of different words, add the period in, absolutely. Uh, add the question mark in as they need to because those are used a lot. And also the exclamation mark. Uh, and on this day, you're going to, going to also show them where Five, the numbers are. Four. And what yeah. helps a lot of students is you can put a high dot on the five and a high dot on the zero. And so that helps them center their fingers also. Once again, they need to be going up. They need to, oh yeah, the number sign perfectly relates to their Braille. So uh, have them getting that uh, feedback from their Braille display.
So on the fifth day, they are absolutely ready for a whole sentence, and this is the sentence to start them out with. So the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Now they're going to be very slow at first and have them be slow. It is better to be slow and accurate than fast and sloppy. So have them very slowly, really feeling out, oh, they missed that. And of course, you're going, they're going to be using that backspace as they need to. But have them typing this sentence out over and over so then they get the idea of how the, the words, the letters and the words go together in the sentence. Uh, and then every day from this time forward, we do a quick one minute timing. And on Friday, uh, we do a two minute timing, and then of course they can see how much faster they have gotten. But if they're practicing this sentence every single day, they will pick up speed very fast. Okay, so after five days they've done this, by the next Monday, they are in their classroom typing their lessons. Type their lessons. Now, at first they're gonna be slow and you're probably going to hear some complaining about uh, getting their work done. So you're going to have to work that in so it, it enables them to get their work done. Uh, they're going to have a little bit more homework that night. But depending on their age, uh, really within one to two months, they're going to have so much speed that you will not hear the complaining anymore. And then you're just going to have a really efficient uh, typing child. So that is the easiest way to teach touch typing, easy, simple, get them right into the classroom, start typing all of their work, and uh, they will be very quick, very fast, uh, even at an early age. Okay, so try those lessons and see how that works.